Harvey Oregon, where are you, bro? Earlier this year, Harvey Oregon was interviewed by Greg Hunter, who I've had in this channel once. And this had 213,000 views, this video. And let's take a look at what was said. And by the way, Silver Futures beat me to this. I was about to do a video. I thought no one would pick it up, but he remembered. And I was planning to do it today or tomorrow. I decided to do it on New Year's Eve. Anyways, see this. Let's start from here. Oregon says, I highlighted it here. You will see that you will go to sleep at night and you will wake up the next morning and see gold bidding at $3,000 an ounce and there will be no offer and it will rise by $500 a day. It will come in 2014. They are running out. They don't have it. The supplies for silver are even more strained and suppressed according to Oregon. He says, silver is similar to what is going on in gold but even better in china on september 22nd they're going to have a futures market similar to comex but it will be in physical metal you settle in physical metal so for the first time you're going to see the pure price discovery mechanism work and it's going to be in total conflict to the crimes that are being committed on the comex organ thinks that silver will trade at two hundred dollars per ounce and says by december the whole thing is going to collapse so as of today, let, let's go to CNBC.com to see the gold price right now. Let's see if the Comex did go bankrupt or if the whole thing did collapse. The Dow is down 160 points, so you could say that that had a bad day today. Gold had a bad day today, 11.82. So pretty much flat for the next for this whole year. Silver was down. So, the thing with Harvey Organ and a prediction like this, I try to not make, or I try to avoid making predictions like this, like in December it's going to be $3,000 an ounce or $10,000 an ounce, and he said $200 dollars an ounce. Common sense told me that it would not reach that level in December. But you have to remember that some people don't agree with that. They think that the whole system's rigged this and that and they truly believe that the collapse is coming. But to say on an interview with a lar lot of individuals that would actually listen to the interview, I don't think that's the best way to go at it. Some people may totally disagree with me, but at the end of the day I don't believe in saying that $10,000 an ounce within a few months span. I mean, I do believe the system's messed up. I do believe that over time, yes, gold and silver will retain value, right? Now, whether we're in for a deflationary short-term head fake spiral, that remains to be seen. I think we are, and we can see lower metal prices in the interim. But long-term, I still am a gold bug. But anyways, there's 213,000 views on this, which is interesting. And you see stuff like $3,000 an ounce, and then you can see $500 a day. That, that just sounds a bit ridiculous. So the philosophy that I have is, you know what? Have a diversified set of assets, right? whether it's cash, gold, silver, stocks, equities, real estate, whatever. And if it does collapse, then guess what? You'll be fine if you have a diversified set of assets, right? If you have deflation, you're going to be fine. If you have inflation, you're going to be fine. That's the way to think of it because we don't know what the central planners are thinking in the back of their mind. But anyways, Harvey Oregon, where are you at? The whole system did not collapse yet.